Penguin boy. I don't tell my mum's boyfriend who is not my dad. I tell my mum. <laughs> penguin boy, I mean, is this normal for penguins? Hey guys, we're back at it again with another episode of responding to your comment. What are we waiting for? Let's dive in. Bella Khan, what do you think of vaping? Bella, thank you for your question. To be quite honest, I'm not a big fan of vaping. I do think that vaping attracts a lot of non-smokers to begin vaping. Um, and it's kind of expected really when there's all these weird flavors out there like bubblegum flavor and tropical fruit flavors and all these weird flavors that attracts people to it. But saying all that, Public Health England did say not long ago that vaping is actually 95% less harmful for you than traditional smoking. And this is because vaping doesn't produce tar, it doesn't produce carbon monoxide, which traditional smoking does. But it's important to remember that vaping isn't completely risk-free because it does contain certain chemicals which can be potentially harmful, which are also found in cigarettes. But I think all in all, more research is needed on this topic. Angela Sanchez, remedy first, explanation last please. Angela, thank you for your comment. This is from the How to Stop Acid Reflux video. With all my videos, I always talk about the condition first. And this is because of how we got trained at pharmacy school. So when I was in pharmacy school, we had this amazing lecturer called Professor Naylor. And he always used to tell us that to understand how you treat a disease, you first need to understand why it's happening. And this rule can be applied to anything in life, I guess. But to understand, for instance, how you treat acid reflux, you first need to understand why it's happening, and then you can apply that knowledge to it. So that's why I always do it that way, and I think it's the right way, because you get the knowledge and you understand why it's happening. Yina Chow, hello, can you explain why we should use our emollients first? Does any non-steroid lotion, cream, petroleum, jelly count as an emollient? Yina, thank you for your comment. So when you're using an emollient, you should wait at least 15 minutes before applying a steroid cream. Now, the things that you listed, so non-steroid lotion, creams, petroleum jelly, all of these do count as an emollient. And emollients are there to soothe and hydrate the skin, and they form a sort of layer on top of the skin, which keeps, well, it retains the moisture in. So that's how it hydrates the skin. Now, another point to remember as well is that a lot of these emollients do contain paraffin, and there is a fire risk associated with paraffins. I'll leave a link to that video that I made up here, which I would highly recommend everyone to watch. T, question mark. Does this still work in 2019? T, thank you for your comment. This is from the dandruff video, which the title says 2018. T, I can confirm that this will work in 2019. It will work in 2020, 2021. I'm not too sure about 2022 though. NC, thank you for this, very informative. I wanted to know why smoking is bad for diabetes. NC, thank you for your question. I guess we all know that smoking is bad for us. I think seven out of 10 lung cancers are caused by smoking. Smoking also increases your risk of heart disease, strokes, it causes COPD and many more health issues. Now in diabetes, smoking can actually increase your risk of heart disease, strokes, and it can cause circulation problems. Now, another fun fact as well that not a lot of people know, well, it's not really a fun fact, it's a bad fact, um, is that smoking can actually increase your risk of diabetes because it can cause insulin resistance. And that is the end of this week's episode. Thank you so much for all the great comments. I'm really enjoying this interaction that we've got going on on YouTube. We're getting nearly 2,500 comments per month now on YouTube, which is quite a lot. So if I didn't get back to your comment, leave another comment. I'll try my best to get back to you in the next Responding to Your Comments episode. See you next week. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos.